In this video, I'm going to go over how to rename your column in Google Sheets. The main reason that you would want to rename your columns is for easier referencing of your formulas and it makes your sheet more organized and easier to understand. So in Google Sheets, you actually can't change the column names of this top header row. Um, these default letters are going to stay. So I'm not talking about renaming your header row. If you want to learn how to rename your header row and lock this in place, um, I'll put a link to my video where I go over that, but that's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about using the named range functionality to basically create a named range for referencing of your formulas. So how you do that is the first thing you want to do is you want to click in the top here to highlight the entire column that you want to create a named range for. Um, and then what you do is you would go up to data, named ranges, and then you can name it whatever you want here. So there are rules of characters that aren't allowed here. I'll just show you what that would look like if you're going to type something that's not allowed. If I hit done, it's going to say it's not valid. So I'll put a link to my blog post where I go over the characters um, that are allowed in these name ranges if you're running into this problem or you can click um, the arrow and learn more and it will lead you to uh, um, the page with all the rules for these named ranges. So for this one, I'm just going to do price and then I'm going to do another one here. I'm going to do sales done and then since I've created those named ranges I can use them in my formula so I can do price times sales now and that's pretty much it for the video um, using named ranges again it's very helpful in your formulas and it makes it a lot easier to understand when you see oh this formula is price times sales that's the main reason you want to do named ranges in Google Sheets Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.